Welcome back today. This is Bazooka Hoops coming at you with another hoop shoe review for you. This is the initial review here of the GT Cut 3s. I've had the GT Cut 1s, tried on the GT Cut 2s, did not like how they felt. Are the 3s the best to come? Let's find out. Here we have the GT Cut 3 All-Star Weekend colorway, and man, I'm so excited to get these. I waited so long for these to go on sale. I saw how they looked when they first came out, and I was in love with them instantly. But uh, the direction I saw all the other GT Cut 3s, they were all basically sitting and going on sale, so I, so I figured these would as well. So happy I waited because I was able to scoop these up. Really good deal on these right now. These are probably the best looking colorway I've seen here for the GT Cut 3s. All the other colorways are decent, but to me, I'm a big fan of how these look all around, just the specialty package they bring. Has anyone else seen the PE version of these where they look just like these with the Volt colorway? I think those look sweet. These still might be my favorite though. I love the colors in this colorway. Here we have navy blue, white, the team logo here, green back, green bottom, two different colorways. We have a bunch of sparkliness to the shoe, hints of silver all around, just a great looking shoe. Love how they have the sparkling blue. In this Zoom X bubble right here, we have the sparkly blue. I think that looks super nice. Sparkly blue on the front toe. We have the green tab on the back with the curse of Nike. I think the green gives it a nice punch. We have the duo tongue here, a split tongue. I think that looks neat. We have the old school team Nike logo. That's a nice throwback, big fan of that. Always a big fan of the reverse swoosh. They have the reverse swoosh on the front. Can't go wrong with that. This little GT bubble here in the front is inflated. You can squish it and it feels like it's inflated. Nice little cushion to it. I don't know what it does for you, just for style. If anyone remembers those 90s kicks, those Jason Kids, I mean, uh, that was around my area, around my time. I definitely remember these and these give me that nostalgia. Huge fan of how these look. Moving on, here we have the materials. The materials all around thin. We have a thin upper and that goes basically all around the shoe. There's basically not going to be a whole lot to it. It's a plasticky, thin material. It's not a whole lot of cushion, not a whole lot of give to it. The bottom part here, smooth exterior. Looks like it's felt, but it's more like a uh, pleather. Um, that's going to make its way all the way on the exterior side of the shoe. Bottom part of the tongue real thin, making your way to the top. We have some cushion on the top of the tongue. We have decent Achilles ankle area cushioning. I would say that's the most cushion the shoe feels. Nice hard heel counter here in the back. That's going to keep us nice and locked in. Uh, not a lot of movement in that heel area, which is going to be nice. Overall, the shoe feels really thin, minimalistic feel to it thin materials all around. You could definitely tell that they're going for a lightweight look. Taking a look here on the top, we have some holes that come up right here. And that's just gonna give us a little bit more ventilation, a little bit more breathing for our foot when it gets hot. They have the all white oval laces in these shoes. You let me know, should I change the color laces in these shoes? Next we have the quality. And not gonna lie here, the quality feels a little cheap to me. When you take a look at it out of the box, it looks beautiful, but in hand, it feels really cheap. The material is super thin, scratchy material. Uh, you know, pretty much the same material you'll see on any other shoe that's looking to be a little bit cheaper. We have a plastic green shank here. I'm honestly always preaching for carbon fiber shanks. It seems like all the other brands of higher end shoes include that carbon fiber shank. Nike just likes to cheap out, gives us the plastic one. It's a decent feel. I mean, in hand, it's light. Um, just the look, I would say, gives it the most quality feel to it. It just looks like, you know, it had some artistic ability put into it, which is, you know, something I really enjoy. And just little hints and nuances to it, it gives it a little bit of a touch for me. Uh, but all around, you know, the quality is kind of lower on what I'd expect to shoe at this price. Traction, here we have some mountain tops going up and down the shoe, and that's going to be on the top and the bottom as well. Just zigzags, mountain tops, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's a full semi-translucent outsole, bottom to top, different color. We have a blue and a white. Kind of a sparkle look to the outsole as well when you take a look at it closer. And the outsole on the front here, you know, the interior and as well as the exterior, it comes up, it rides the shoe a little bit. So that's going to be nice if you're the type of person that likes to play on your toes a little bit more. Just feeling the shoes in hand, it feels super tacky, really grippy. Um, I think it's going to be a good grip. Just tried it on my kitchen floor and it felt all right. Um, you know, no issues at all. But, you know, I'll see a bit more when I go into the gym. The foam on this shoe. And this shoe has got full Zoom X going around the whole shoe, down the whole shoe. 
Um, I've never had a Zoom X shoe before, so this is my first time and it's in the basketball shoe. So I'm not exactly sure how they implemented it, but I can say the, the foam we have here, this casing, is a really hard foam. It does not feel cushy at all. It's more a uh, really hard foam that's gonna be your shell casing, I'm assuming, for the Zoom X that's inside. And you could feel it here in the Zoom X little logo area here that it's really squishy, really plushy, and that's gonna be most of that cushion. Let me know if anyone's kept playing in this shoe. Should Nike keep adding Zoom X into their basketball shoes? The step in comfort for these shoes, Right when I put them on right away, I can tell you that they feel really supportive, really locked in. Um, I would say that the shoe really had no issues as far as how it felt on my foot, you know, anything pinching or anything like that. Uh, but what I can say is I only tried on my right shoe, but the arch is a little bit high for me. It felt like my arch was going to have to get broken into the shoe a little bit. I add move insoles into my shoe, so I'm not exactly sure, but I'm sure the more I break it in, the more it will feel a little bit better. The materials felt stiff when I put them on foot, moved around a little bit, walked around in the materials. You can tell they just don't move in an orthodox way yet. They're not broken in yet. It's just kind of material, but it's something I'm used to, so I'm not really digging on it too much. I moved around in the shoe a little bit, felt locked in in all directions, no heel slippage. Um, really no issues with the shoe stepping in wise. Felt like we had great forefoot cushion as well as that heel. Um, you could really feel that Zoom X in there when you step in there. Really in the forefoot is where I felt most of it. You know, going front to back, it felt really nice on the shoe. Uh, kind of had a boost feeling to it, if you know what boost feels like for Adidas. Uh, so that's gonna be something I enjoy. So we're gonna see if that arch gets broken in a little bit better, but that's something I have to look into. This shoe feels really light. The weight on this shoe is insane. I mean, I don't even have to put it on the scale to know it's one of the lightest shoes that I own. Um, holding it up, it does not feel as light as my Kobe 6s. I haven't compared them by just picking them both up, but I can tell just by hand, they're probably not as light as that shoe. Super minimal shoe, like I said, thin materials all around, just enough padding in that ankle, just enough in that tongue area, and then a super lightweight foam. On foot, this felt really light, really didn't feel like I had anything on my foot, which is something nice when I'm looking to be quick. You let me know if this is one of the lightest shoes that you guys own. Size 13 on this shoe, Bigfoot shoe gang, rise up. Um, I don't know what it is, but size 13 has been incredibly difficult on some of these shoes that are really, you know, good producers. A lot of basketball hoopers look for them, so, you know, it's just something you gotta look out for for those size 13s. Making an entrance to uh, my video here. He's never made an entrance before, but this is Wrigley. My favorite cat I have. Sorry, other two cats. When I tried this shoe on, it had a really snug midfoot toe box area. Um, I would say it came down on my foot. That's how I like it though. I would say that's exactly how I like my shoe. A little bit snug. The length for me was just a tad too long. Uh, I would say a width uh, of my thumb, which wasn't terrible. Uh, on foot, it felt fine. I'm sure the more I play in it, it's gonna feel okay. You know, I really like a snug fit on my foot. So, but it's just something I have to point out a little bit. Felt like my midfoot uh, right around the arch area was bulging out just a little bit. That might be where I was having a little bit of those arch issues with when I first tried on the shoe. I'm um, not sure how it's gonna feel breaking in wise, but I have a feeling it'll be okay. I have a medium to wideish kind of foot, so if that kind of helps you figure out, you know, what kind of size you need, uh, uh, hopefully that helps. I always go true to size, which is size 13 for me, and I kind of just adjust from there. If anyone has tried the LeBron 21, I would say this is pretty similar on how the LeBron 21 felt. Um, kind of long and tight in this area. I'm really excited to break these in. Um, I could already tell right now by just having them in hand, they're gonna feel really nice, really light on court. Uh, no matter what move I do, they're gonna be pretty much there helping me out. So really excited to give these a fair, honest shot. Thank you for tuning in and watching. I can't wait to get you guys the full review on this as well as many other shoes that I get, other shoes that I own. I'll get you the full review out there for them. Uh, just a normal hooper for you. So any type of support out there really helps. Uh, I'm on a race to 100 right now. So give me 200 subscribers, let's do it. We're getting so close. Um, thank you for tuning in. And this is the GT Cut 3 All-Star Weekend Initial Review. And until next time, Bazooka Hooper.